Hi, so I know that you have, or at some point will learn, about raptors and their different adaptations that help them to be predators. But today we're going to talk about other birds and their adaptations for them to lead the certain lifestyles that they have. An adaptation is a special characteristic or feature that an animal has that helps it to live, thrive, adapt, and survive in its environment. Today we're going to talk about four different types of birds. We're going to talk about a hummingbird, a duck, a turkey, and a woodpecker. And we're going to compare and contrast their different adaptations that help them to survive in their environment. One adaptation that these birds have in common is their bone structure. Dina's going to show us the differences between their bones and other animals' bones. On your left is a bird bone. Notice how it's hollow unlike the mammal bone. This adaptation of hollow bones along with feathers is what allows birds to fly. Another difference between these four birds is their eating habits. Looking at the shapes of their beak, we can determine what they eat. Let's make some closer observations. A duck's bill is well adapted to its aquatic lifestyle. Its small, pointed teeth allow ducks to filter through water for plants and insects. This turkey's long curved beak allows it to pick through the tall grass in search of insects and seeds. Hummingbirds have very unique beaks. Their long, slender shape allows them to drink nectar out of flowers and feeders. An acorn woodpecker's pointed beak and thick skull are perfectly adapted for drilling holes in trees. Though all of these birds can fly, their habitats are very diverse. Let's take a look at their feet to see what different characteristics they have that help them to survive in their habitat. Ducks have webbed feet for swimming through the water. This adaptation allows them to move through aquatic habitat with little effort. Both woodpeckers and hummingbirds have small feet with sharp claws. This feature is useful when climbing trees and perching on branches. A turkey's foot is best suited for life on the ground. Its padded feet act like shoes, keeping them protected from sharp objects they might step on. Another feature that these birds have are their different colorations. Some birds use their different colors to camouflage, some use them to frighten off their predators, and some use them to attract a mate. Not only are adaptations physical characteristics, but animals like these birds also have behavioral adaptations in the ways that they interact with their environment and with each other. When feeling threatened by predators, hummingbirds will drink nectar mid-flight. Acorn woodpeckers live in social groups. With teamwork, woodpeckers are able to store enough food to survive harsh winters. Male turkeys can ruffle their feathers to appear larger. This is helpful when fending off other males and potential predators. When searching for food in the water, ducks will dive headfirst while keeping their feet up. This is called dabbling. Now that you've learned about all kinds of adaptations, both physical and behavioral, we challenge you to, at home, create your own bird with at least four different adaptations that help it survive in its habitat. Here are some examples of birds that we have created. Make sure that when labeling your adaptations, you describe how it helps your bird to better survive in its environment. Have fun!